guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a monthly sticker kit lineup. It's been a long time since I've done one of these and in the past when I've done these and also when I watch other people do these on YouTube, I feel like most of the time you are doing them in advance. So like right now it's the beginning of May, so I would be doing either May or June's sticker kit lineup kind of showing you what I plan on using. But I find personally that I change up what I'm gonna use a lot. Unless it's a holiday week or it's a special occasion like someone's birthday, I really like to live the week and then look back and pick a kit that matches that week. Either something that happened or just a feeling or mood that I was experiencing that week. So this is actually going to be April sticker kit lineup and these ones are set. I am definitely using these kits for these weeks. I've already lived the weeks. I've already done the scripts and everything. So this is set in stone. So I have all of my April sticker kits and scripts in this Simply Gilded album. This is one of her large albums and I don't know the color off the top of my head. I have a bunch of these and I think they're really nice for storing small amounts of kits and character stickers. Also, there is some yard work being done outside. So if you hear like mowers and leaf blowers and stuff, that's what that is. I've actually sat here and I was doing some desk work to like avoid filming until they were done, but like they've been going for hours. So at this point, I'm just gonna film. So in this little front pocket here, I have some double box extenders and I also have a couple of foil items that I can use for any collection. So I have the weekday overlays in all of the colors. So I have rose gold, silver, gold, gold hollow, and this is like glitter hollow, I think. And then I also have these foil samplers in the colors as well. And this way I can pull these into whichever kits I want and I'll keep these in the front pocket even when I switch over to like May's sticker kit lineup or June's. So I have gold hollow, glitter hollow, gold, silver, and rose in that. And I also have some washi overlays in all the foils as well. These are all available on my shop, all four of these items in all of the colors. I store that right in the front so that I can add them into whatever spread I want. The first spread of April is going to be from March 27th through April 2nd. And this is called Chick Flick. This was my March mystery subscription from this year. So this actually is a pretty new collection and it is not available on the shop because I don't bring mystery subscription kits to the shop for a while. We will probably have a few glitches during the next glitch sale, but other than that, it will be a while for this to come to the shop. But the reason I picked this collection for this week is because it was Blair's birthday week and this collection reminds me of Blair so, so much. I love it. Not just the Chihuahua, Blair did have a Chihuahua that looked just like that named Rue. Rue is no longer around, but I definitely still associate Blair with Chihuahuas. And also this collection had a lot of nods to some of the quintessential chick flicks of our time, like the As If from Clueless and the Bend and Snap Box, which is on here from Legally Blonde and also the Chihuahua is Legally Blonde. So overall this collection and these colors in general just really remind me of Blair and that's why I wanted to use it for this week. So I have the collection itself with all the extras it came with. This mystery subscription came with some foil overlays in this hot pink color and also this turquoise color. So that's gonna be really fun. And then I also have my scripts ready to go in glitter hollow. Like I said, since I've already lived this week, I was able to fully prepare with my scripts done. And also I have the pictures done. So I have the pictures printed out here. Those are the pictures I will be using for this particular spread. That is the first week. So I'm gonna stick that back in here. Next, we have the week of April 3rd through April 9th, and this was Easter week. So we have this collection called Happy Easter. I think this came out last year and I didn't end up using it last year, so I'm really excited to use it this year. It's super, super pretty, and I have so many fun extras. For this one, I do have like the family boxes, which I'm gonna be using. I have all of the foil. We have one that goes over the double box. We have the full boxes here. We have the family boxes. I have my scripts for the week, of course. And then we also have these fun underlays that I brought out for Easter last year. So 
They're like little bunnies and eggs. So I have two pages of the underlays and then I have the little glitter header overlays and the washi overlays. I'm not sure if I have any of this stuff in stock still on the shop. If not, we probably won't be doing a restock for a while, probably not till the winter, restocking for next spring. But you can check on there and see if there's anything left in stock if you're interested in that. And then on this side, I do have a couple of Easter um, character stickers or spring character stickers that I wanted to make sure to use. So we have like the Teeny Tots bunnies and the Teeny Tots Easter basket. This is just a spring one, Teeny Tots in the flowers and on the rainbow. And then this one is a little uh, Once More With Love freebie sampler and I was thinking about possibly using this little family one. And then we have these bunny girls from Mystery Subscription. We have these Easter bunnies. And then this is a Baby's First from Once More With Love. I just have some flower Coffee Monsters coat. Next up, we have the week of April 10th through the 16th. For this week, I am using the Painted Lights collection. This is so pretty. I can't even with this foil. It's so, so gorgeous. So this is, like I said, Painted Lights. And I went ahead and laid the foil down on all of the bits. So this is the washi with the foil. I do have this in stock on the shop with the foil because we actually just brought it back reformatted. So um, this newest format we do have. And then we have the foil on the double box. And then I have the label sampler. I have the extra boxes with the foil on it. And then I have my scripts ready for that one. Next up, we have the week of April 17th through the 23rd. This week was a crazy week. First, I ended up getting unexpectedly sick and it was actually a reaction, I think, to the medication I'm on for my autoimmune thing. It was pretty scary, but luckily it was short-lived. But then the very next day after I felt better, which mine only lasted for like one full day, the next day, hubby woke up pretty sick and he ended up having a low grade fever for like four or five days. And so this sick day collection is perfect for it. And this was the March, 2022 collection. And I'm actually going to be bringing the overstock to the shop for the first time during my next round of releases, which should be going up very soon. Like by the time you see this video, they will either be up or be within days away of being up. So this will be coming to the shop. I have my scripts here and because it is a mystery sub, it comes with a bunch of foil overlays. So I'm super excited to use this one as well. And last but not least for the week of April 24th through the 30th, I have this collection. This was Rainy Days, which was March of 20. 21. I have a lot of March kits in here, which is really interesting because I'm using March of this year, March of last year, and March of 2021. I just realized that. I did not do that on purpose, but this is rainy day and this is in the older format because this is actually the format that was shipped out. I've been wanting to reformat this because I think this is a really great anytime kit and we are completely sold out of the older version of this. I'm gonna try to do it in time for the next releases that I was just talking about, which will either be up by the time you see this or be within days away. Because like I said, I think this is just a really great anytime kit to have and I was really excited to have it to use it. I will probably be using Using this older format even if the reformat is finished by the time I want to lay this spread down because I have it and I don't mind using the older one. So Rainy Day is the main kit for this week but I also ended up watching Peter Pan and Wendy with James. He really wanted to see it and we ended up watching it three times because James is a nut and I knew that I had this old Peter Pan collection. This was a mystery kit from Man, it's an old one. It was either 20, it was somewhere between 2017 and 2019. This was a mystery kit, I think for the month of February. I could be wrong. It was a long time ago, but guys, I went digging for this collection. I ended up finding it at the bottom of like piles and piles of stickers. Cause like I said, this is an older collection, but this is why you should hold on to all your sticker kits and not get rid of the ones you don't think you're going to be using because you never know, because I am so excited to be using a little bit of this. I think I'm going to be using this scene right here. Um, of the ship flying over London because coincidentally the colors actually work pretty well like that actually kind of goes together so i'm going to be using that and i might be using a couple of maybe i'll use another box maybe this scene here i like that too we have some foil overlays we can play with we have more boxes this kit came with a lot of boxes 
and then also it came in a double box version but I probably will be using the smaller version because I have a lot of boxes with this collection as well so I'm going to be doing a little bit of combining for this week and I'm excited that I have this collection I really didn't think I was going to be able to find it I cannot remember the last time I saw this collection in person but I was very happy to find it so that will be for the last week of April and that brings us up to date because I'm currently living the first week of May so I haven't decided on what collection I'm going to be using yet so that was my April kit lineup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see these videos regularly and I will be doing at least some of these spreads as plan with me's. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have time to do all five and like also keep up with everything else I'm doing, but definitely I'll do at least a, a few of them because I know you guys want to see those. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.